it is a funny little thing. Uh, <laughs> it just shows you can't jump to conclusions. Uh, my bike has been doing a kind of a weird thing where <laughs> you know, I, I I swore. I jumped to the conclusion anyway that this is a warning. Anytime you turn the steering hard left, I mean right to the lock, it would shut down. The bike would shut off. Wouldn't do it to the right, but as soon as you went all the way to the left, it would do it. <laughs> Turns out it isn't electrical. You know, I was gonna pull that headlight out. And look in there, and I thought it just seemed weird, you know, it seemed like an impossible thing. Well, this little thing here is a decompressor, and what they it's a little cam kind of that will work on the rocker arm and, and slightly lifts the exhaust valve. That's how you get over top dead center to, to start it. Well, it turns out that I got to reroute my cable. She's a little snug. If I turn full to the right, you can see it, it pulls that lever. So I lose compression as soon as I go full lock right. It's a funny deal. You know, but my first impression was, yeah, it's got to be electrical. Which was worrying me because, you know, then if it's an intermittent electrical, you know, who's to say when it'll quit, who, when it'll do it? But it's a simple, straightforward cable reroute. I've been doing it for quite a while. But like I said, the only time I ever noticed it uh, was like if I'm pulling into a parking space and I make a really sharp left hand turn. You know, and then roll back into the curb. As soon as I make that curb, that bend, she shut down. And I was actually getting to the point where I was making use of that, you know. Stop someplace, going to shut off, we'll just turn the handlebar. You know, it would do it if you put the kickstand down and turn the handlebar all the way over uh, so it's leaning on the kickstand, it would shut down automatically. And... On these, like I said, the electrical is fairly simple uh, for the ignition. There's only one wire that runs up to the headlight that will kill the motor. The, the ignition is always on. It's a it's a magneto like a Briggs and Stratton has, except it's electronic. But there's simply a kill wire, and I thought, well, that kill wire must be short in some place. No, it wasn't. Just decompressing. <laughs> uh, you know, I guess it normally it wouldn't be a problem, but I'm running really wide bars. I've got these solid aluminum handlebars that are made for flat trackers. I like a wide bar. And that makes me run a little short on the cable. So I'll just have to reroute it, but there's plenty of places I could go with it. Even back in here. Or I might even have a longer cable. I think the one for like the XT might be a longer cable. You know, this is on my SR. But it's funny, you know, you jump the cruiser over there. Yep, electrical. Gonna tear that headlight out. Got nothing to do with the headlight. But now I gotta set valves. So I'm gonna pull a tank and a seat off anyway, and I wanna switch carburetors and I wanna put a new tire on and it's just a whole litany of things I gotta do. But at least I don't have electrical problems. <laughs> yeah, funny deal. But it is. You, you tend to want to, you know, you go, the obvious thing would be an electrical, that the wiring is screwing around, you know. But nope, she's purely mechanical, and I prefer to deal with a purely mechanical. <laughs>